Hi guys, um, welcome back. Um, just going to do a relatively short video today. I just wanted to, I was thinking about this um, last night actually. I just wanted to cover the, well normally I'd make a video like explaining something or helping in some way for you guys so you can learn something. But this one's a bit weird. I'm going to actually ask the question as I go along because I'm a little bit lost myself to be honest. Um, it's about not finishing a project and moving on to another project. Someone once said to me, it's okay to move on to another sculpture and leave one sculpture for a later date and come back to it. And up until that point, I'd always finished everything that I started. Um, and some of them were relatively difficult or long-winded, like if you saw my last uh, video about building uh, Jack Sparrow, the 100 hour, hour pirate. If you haven't seen that one, um, check it out it's, and watch all of it. I would advise you watch all of it because it's, it's a long journey and it goes through a lot of emotions and stuff, which I wanted to share with you guys. But cutting back to this whole thing about whether you should or shouldn't shelve a project, I never did. But then someone said to me that a lot of famous artists in the past, like painters and stuff like that, would often shelve something and come back to it at a later time when they have more inspiration or stuff like that. So this is something that I uh, I kind of never thought about, but then I started to think about it because I was struggling with this guy here. I mean, he's, he's caused me a lot of trouble. I mean, I've worked on Elvis best part on and off for about a year or so. And he's such an iconic character. I mean, you, you just can't make a bad Elvis. If you do that, it's game over. So there's no option. I can't make a bad Elvis. I mean, his fan base is probably going to be brutal if I do. So there's no option to just do a, an average Elvis. It's either going to be something that resonates with everyone and, and, and does, does him justice. Because, you know, honestly, what a legend. So I was working on him for a considerable amount of time, but I was just getting roadblock after roadblock. I had a lot of trouble doing the eyes. Um, I just couldn't get them to look right. And even things like the facial hair and stuff like that, I'm, I haven't put any on him yet, but I'm just worried that it's going to be too much. It's going to be too stark and too... Anyway, to cut a long story short... I've had a lot of issues with Elvis and trying to get him where I want him to be. Um, and like I said, if you've seen the pirate video, you will understand that at a certain point in the sculpture, I start to um, build up the outfit and stuff around and then just work on the face a little bit, do some more with the outfit, then work on the face a little bit. And that's what I did. Um, to a level, I've had some success, you know, but. I'm almost at the point now where there's not much left to do to the outfit and still the face is not where I want it to be. And that's the kind of point I got to when I decided to shelve it because someone said to me, look, if you've got other ideas, you've got other things you want to do, then shelve it and come back to it at a later time. Well, he's now been sat in my kitchen for months um, and I haven't gone back. So this, this is my dilemma. Is it a good idea to shelve or not a good idea to shelve? I'd like to hear what you, you guys do and how, how you feel about it. But I've currently got like three sculptures that are unfinished in my kitchen. And yet I'm thinking of new things I want to do. Um, and I'm just worried that, you know, will these ever get finished? Would I ever go back to them? Should I just go back to them? Should I clear the backlog before I go forwards? It's a really difficult one for me because if I go back to Elvis and I can't get it right um, and I spend weeks and weeks and weeks just trying and trying, some would say that's the way you should do it. But um, I'm just lost on this one really because uh, not only have I done other sculptures like the one behind me, I don't know if you can see this one, this one, I've done that one since I stopped uh, with Elvis and I've done a couple of others as well and um, I've 
I'm, I'm like, they wouldn't exist if I was still working on him. So it's a, it's a really difficult one to know what to do. But I was just kind of like interested in what you, you, would, you guys are doing out there, you know, because I personally don't think the, the moving on thing is working for me because I'm just li- I'm just got a graveyard of unfinished stuff that I think it has a negative impact on me that's what I think I think I come I come into the kitchen where I do my sculpting and I've got these these unfinished pieces around me and um I think it's more of a negative than a positive so I think what I need to do is clear that clear those um clear those clear those projects and get them finished and then it's like having a clean slate and then your brain can be more free and you can start to develop new ideas and you see I've got a lot of things that I want to do and I don't want to start them if I've still got all this in my kitchen so I guess I've answered my own question I've got to I've got to finish what I've started. See, I've got this this one here, the dragon that I started. Now that was going to be a really, I had this cool idea about a dragon that takes away negative energy. And then I thought, well, you can't just make a dragon that takes away negative energy. There has to be a force behind it. So I went to um, Glastonbury and um, went into one of these like crystal shops and spoke to a girl in there and said, look, I'm building this sculpture and I, have you got any stones or anything that can take energy, you know, takes negative energy away from some somebody or something, you know? And she came up with this egg. Um, I'll, sh- I'll show you the egg. Um, it'll be there when I've edited this video. She came up with this egg and, it, and she said that that takes away a lot of negative energy and stuff. So basically I was going to include that inside the sculpture. I was going to make it fit in somewhere. So that was going to be a cool thing and it was going to have massive wings and I had a lot of ideas for that, you know, but I'll be honest, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to and I think that's why I fell out of love with it a little bit. It it became a bit too cartoony for me Um, and I wanted it to be more like, you know, like, what's that in Harry Potter, the Dementor or whatever it is. I wanted it to be a little bit more scary I suppose is the word but um it's it's come out more cartoony so and to change the face now if you look at this if I try and change that face now then it's just probably not gonna look great to be honest it is what it is I've made what I've made so I probably should just maybe layer it up a bit more and put some more attitude into it um you know, and put the wings on and make it make it a, a much bigger and more powerful sculpture. Maybe that's the way to go with it. Anyway, I'm just waffling now, but the point is, finish what you start, I think, has got to be... It might not be for, for everyone, but I think maybe in painting, when you're, when you're a painter... You see, I can understand with a painting, if you, if you had an idea for a background and you painted that background, but you weren't quite sure what you wanted in the... On, as, as the main sort of characteristics you could shelve that until you thought of something that you wanted to put onto that background that makes perfect sense to me but with the sculpting considering all the aspects about the sculpting like leaving this clay sitting around for a very 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 long time it toughens up it loses loses its conditioning and it's harder to manipulate and do what you need to do plus you know, it gathers a lot of dust. It, until it's baked, it's very um, sticky. So it gathers dust, it gathers all sorts of stuff. I mean, there's quite a lot of dust on the top of the hair and stuff here because with all the will in the world, you just can't stop it gathering dust. It just gathers dust all the time. And um, even on the jacket and stuff like that, it's got like little bits of dust and stuff, which I'm going to have to try and get off somehow. I don't know, but I just think maybe shelving projects is not the way to go especially with polymer clay um and i just really wanted to make this video to find out what you guys are doing and think because when you get a burn to do something when you have an idea of something you want to make 
you just want to get on with it. You have that real urge to just get the tin foil and get the clay and just go for it. And um, yeah, I think I think I was enjoying it more at the beginning when I when I was coming to the end of a project and my mind was allowed to consider what my next build was going to be. And um, I think I enjoyed it more because as I was approaching the end of the sculpture and I was getting it in the oven and everything, I was quite excited at that point because I'm like, now I can do something new. I can do my new idea and this is going to be great, you know. But as it stands at the moment, I'm always looking at these unfinished sculptures around me and thinking like, I should finish those. I don't know, it's a really it's really hard one on the brain, but I personally, as the title of this video says, I personally think you should finish what you start. Because I've tried this way, and Elvis has been sat in my kitchen for like, ever. Um, wasn't it, didn't he say that in one of his videos or or, or or did I read it somewhere that he, he had a fear of being forgotten? I think he always had a fear that he would be forgotten once he died and everything, but um, I haven't forgotten yet, but I kind of have. I feel quite bad now. I need to get back to him, don't I? And I need to finish him because he deserves to be finished. So I think... Um, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to... I'm going to start finishing these projects. But what I might do... Is make some uh, make some videos of me doing it. Maybe, if you want to see that. Some live sculpting. Um, obviously, I won't be able to show you all of it. Because you'd get bored. Silly. But what I could do is I could film me sculpting. And then I could maybe cut cut it down into like smaller portions so you can just watch me doing certain parts and stuff like that that would be quite cool and that would actually encourage me to finish these things um because if i don't have a, an incentive to do it they're just going to sit there and i i can honestly see this going in the bin which honestly i mean i don't know if you can see the back of it i'd see if i can get the camera down i mean i've put a lot of work into this thing I mean, he's got some stuff going on here, you know. He has got some stuff going on. It would be, I mean, there's a lot of money there as well, to be fair. But it would be like, it would be a real shame to put him in the bin. But if I leave him much longer, if I leave him much longer, you see his face is just not there. I've got a lot more work to do there yet. I mean, so side profile, starting to get there but the front the front is just there's definitely something starting to happen isn't there definitely something starting to happen but it's definitely not right yet see the thing with this is without boring you this is from the um hawaii concert that he did and he was just starting to put on a bit of weight at that time you know, he was he was getting a little chubby around the cheeks and stuff like that. So, yeah. See, when I look at his earlier photos, he's, he's quite chiselled. His face is quite chiselled. Obviously a very handsome man, you know. But when he was doing this Hawaii concert, he started to... His cheeks started to fill out and he started to become a little bit, like, bigger. So, I wouldn't say the chubby stage, but he definitely was holding a lot more weight at this, this time. And um, I'm really struggling with the eyes. The eyes, the face, I think I can change. I think I, this cheap definition and stuff, I think I can get it a little better. I think he's maybe a little bit too too chubby down here. He wasn't, imagine if that was cut in a bit more, it would look. Anyway, I'm going miles off the track here, aren't I? Anyway, I need to uh, get back on him and do it. And um, what I think I'll do is, I'll, like I said, I'll just make some videos and um, hopefully we can get him to the point of going in the oven. Uh, and then he can be out of my kitchen and put on a mantelpiece somewhere. 
Um, so yeah, this was going to never be a very long video. I just wanted to, um, yeah, give my view really. I, I just think shelving projects is, especially polymer clay is probably not the best way to go, but, um, whatever works for you, I guess, but I've been bitten by this idea. And like I said, I've got three, three sculptures that I haven't, I haven't finished, you know, I mean, in fact, I'm, I've literally, um, started this one only like a couple of weeks ago even though I had the dragon and Elvis still in my kitchen so why would I do that I know why I did it because I was watching snakes in the city I don't know if you've ever seen it it's a great program they go around catching these crazy snakes in people's houses but um black mambo is a is like a very very toxic snake um probably one of the most feared ones in that part of the world so I just I was just in awe of it so I thought I'd try and make it but I'm at the very very early stages here at the moment um but yeah I'm talking rubbish again but bottom line is I think finish what you start because like I said I've got three unfinished projects here now and through starting this channel I think this is going to be my my way forward because I will now now I've put this on video that I'm going to finish these well I've done it now and I've got to because I've told you guys I'm going to finish them so I've got no choice which may be a good thing because otherwise as I said if that sits for another few months it's going to be it's, it's going to go to the point of no return it's going to be so covered in dust it's going to be so tough the clay is going to go so tough I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. So I think that's the way forward, isn't it? Anyway, guys, um, sorry, I was just having a bit of a waffle there, but every, every video counts, I guess. Every, everything's worth saying. So that's me for today. I'm going to um, get on with these sculptures and start finishing them. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.